Hey everybody, today we're going to be looking at the Nectar CS12 control surface. This is one of the few control surfaces which is dedicated uh, to Logic. It also works with Cubase in an integrated way, but it was with Logic first. And it's amazing. It's something I highly recommend. However, every time we get like a system update or a Logic update, uh, there's a chance that it's going to have issues. And so sometimes if this is a key element to your workstation, uh, it's recommended that you perhaps wait to update Logic until they certify that it's compatible. Uh, I rarely ever wait for anything, and so I just deal with the things that work when they do. In this case, the CS12 only partially functions exactly how it should. As you can see right now, it is in the like startup mode uh, where the colors are just kind of you know, fading in and out. It's not connected to Logic all the way. Uh, they had a help document on their website which said if you were to turn it off, turn Logic on first and the CS12 on, that sometimes you can get around this. But if you're facing this situation, the solution that I found to be the best is to go into Logic under Control Surfaces and have it rebuild defaults. If you're not seeing that, you may have to go into Settings, Advanced, and Enable Complete Features. I'm assuming most of you who have this have the advanced things turned on, but maybe in the off chance you don't. So let's rebuild the defaults. Now this automatically changed. The screen loaded up correctly. Let me just choose a track here. And now it's working. I can come in here to the different effects. Make sure that these are all working. Let's change the limiting threshold. Perfect. Now it is back to working all the way. So that's a super easy fix to make this once again communicate with Logic. Now I've had to do this on a semi-regular basis. Not every time I load Logic, but I would say at least two out of three or two out of four times, I've had to just really quickly do that. Uh, and so keep that in mind. There isn't a key command for this. The way to add this particular key command is to go down to key commands, edit assignments, and then we can just type in rebuild and you'll see rebuild defaults has no default key command, but we could add it. And so if you really wanted to add a key command for that, then you could, and it could be a key command or even a MIDI note or, you know, to a control surface, ironically, not to the CS12 control surface because it wouldn't be connected at that time. I have not had an issue with my platform M plus from Icon, just the CS12. It's because it attaches to logic in a different way than just through a standard MIDI controller. Okay. It's worth it. If you haven't ever looked at the CS12 or considered it, I think you really should. It's one of the, the best hardware things that's not like a mic, a mic preamp or a mixer that I've ever used with Logic. It's just so great. Even with some of these bumps, it's worth it. And I know that the company will continue to release updates. When they do release an update, you can go to their website, log into your account and find all the downloads there and then download them. I'm gonna be checking right after this video, but I wanted to show this in the current state where it's not working, and then I'll see if they've actually made an update and uh, have fixed any of the issues. The last thing, if none of this works, if they don't have the update, and if this technique of rebuilding the defaults doesn't work, consider a reboot in conjunction with everything else, and I've heard from people online that that has been a difference for them. Okay, that's it. I hope this little video helps if you're using this and running into issues or if you're considering upgrading and you have it and you just want to know if it's going to still continue to work, or if you're looking at buying one and you're just wondering how that's going to fit into an 11.2 workflow. Have a great week.